to be or not to be? Ah, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing in them to die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache of a thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to, is a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause, there's the respect, that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's continually, the pains and debris love and the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit and the unworthy takes, when he himself might be quantus make. With a bear bobkin, who would Bardell's fare? To grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose awe no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have and fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pith and moment, with this regard their currents turn away, and lose the name of action. <laughs> Shakespeare, Hamlet, 1603. <laughs>